friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW or the Weight Watchers Blue Plan. Happy Wednesday, it's a Wednesday so it's what I eat in a day. We have a busy day today, I have some really good food to share with you, an excellent dinner recipe, some really fun new things, it's going to be a great day. So if you're excited for this what I eat in a day, give this video a big huge thumbs up and if you're new or you haven't yet subscribed, I'd love to have you here make sure that you hit the subscribe button and click the bell right next to it so you never miss a single a video I do what I eat in a days every single Wednesday check out the description box down below for nutrition coaching I do offer personalized to you macros and calories highly highly recommend having this done so you know where you should be reaching for every day to be successful if you want to chat with me directly I have one-on-one -on -one coaching as well links discounts to everything I shared with you in today's video as well as all of my other favorite things my recipe website and my Facebook group head on over and join us are all down in that description box so let's jump into our busy what I eat in a day on WW You call me a saint, but you know I'm a stranger A willing and able to do what you want You think I'm a thinker, but I'm just a singer I'm busy and pretty, just making believe Boy, I'm falling, I'm falling, I'm falling, I'm falling, I'm falling Down to obscurity, don't let me ever be this alone I'm falling, I'm falling, I'm falling, I'm falling, I'm falling Trusting me, I could be making it all up, you know going to warm up a couple of these egg bites. These are the broccoli and cheddar parmesan egg bites. I got these from Imperfect Foods. This is my second time purchasing these because they're so, so delicious. They're very easy to prepare to make a really quick breakfast. Here's what they look like. They come individually wrapped so you can have one, you can have two. I am going to go ahead and warm up two of the egg bites. I have an orange here that I zested for my meal prep and I'm going to eat the rest of the orange, the inside of the orange, and then I'm also going to have one of my muffins, my morning glory muffins from my meal prep. So here's my breakfast for today. I have two of the egg white egg bites. I'm telling you, these are so delicious. And again, I picked them up from Imperfect Foods. I will link Imperfect Foods down below with $20 worth of free groceries, no minimum order. So you can definitely check them out. And then here is one of my morning glory muffins from my meal prep. We are obsessed with these muffins. They're huge, they're delicious. They're only four points. They are so, so good. And then I just went ahead and chopped up that orange. So it is four points for the muffin, two points for the two egg bites, zero for the orange. My breakfast is going to be six points. So it's makeup brush, makeup sponge washing a day. So I thought I would show you guys kind of how I do that, what I use to wash them. So we're actually going to wash all of my face and eye brushes. My main three sponges that I use here, you can rub the brushes on there and it takes off the powder. And then this is my whole like brush washing system. So I actually bought this off of Amazon. It's one of those electronic ones. I don't like the electronic part, but I do utilize the little dish here. And then I have quite a few of the little scrubby mats for the brushes. So let's wash these up. Let's 
so incredibly satisfying. Everything is cleaned. It took me maybe 15 minutes to clean everything. I generally let it sit on a towel here and then I'll actually press it into the towel to get as much moisture as I can off of my brushes. And then I just put them back in my brush holder for them to finish air drying. I feel really good that this is done. I'm going to have a morning snack. I'm currently working on my continuing education for real estate not fun. Uh, I mentioned that I have to do 90 hours by the end of July. I am making quite a dent. I actually have about 50-ish of those hours completed, so I'm getting there. But I am going to have my Better Booch Kombucha. This is from Imperfect Foods. Again, as always, it's linked down below with $20 worth of free groceries. And then I'm just going to have a Peach Too Good yogurt. Just quick, simple morning snack. It's almost 10 o'clock. I want to have a big salad, I think, for lunch. So I'm going to just take a light, easy morning snack and get back to continuing ed. I'm so excited to share with you guys our new countertop ice maker. This thing is incredible. This is the Vivo home efficient countertop ice maker. It is absolutely gorgeous. So it actually looks nice on your countertop. And what's great about this is you will have ice in less than 15 minutes. So in less time than it would take you to order a cup of coffee, you will have ice. The ice basket can hold 2.4 pounds of ice cubes. And in 24 hours, you can make 40 pounds of ice. What I also love about this is the ice stays cold. It does have a cooling component. So the ice actually stays frozen. You simply fill up the back of the ice maker with water to the full line, turn it on. You can select the size of ice cube that you want. There are three different options and it will automatically make ice cubes repeatedly until you are out of water. It makes it extremely, extremely easy to use. It does come with an ice scoop, so that makes it really nice as well. It is a 130 watt ice maker made of stainless steel. And again, it produces 40 pounds of ice in a 20 four hour period. It takes about 15 minutes for it to make enough ice for a couple of beverages, which is not bad at all. The water tank holds 2.2 liters of water. And again, it does keep your ice cold. That's a question that I get a lot about ice makers is will my ice just melt like the little containers you get in the hotel? No, but this particular ice maker, it will continue to make ice and it will continue to keep it cold. Super nice. I loved adding these pretty little ice cubes to my water for the day and you can see how much ice it made. I will have it linked down below for you guys with a discount. Good morning. Welcome to my cupboard. I wanted to give you guys a quick update on diesel. A lot of you have been reaching out still and asking for an update on him, which I really, really appreciate. I did give a complete update on his surgery and how he's been doing since and last Wednesday's what I eat in a day. So I will link that video down below for you guys as well. But now we're actually a couple weeks post op. He's doing really, really well. He's putting a lot of weight on the leg. And like I mentioned in last week's what I eat in a day, that's very abnormal. The doctor was surprised he was putting any weight on his leg at all, more or less as much weight as he's putting on his leg. So he's doing well. We have resorted to having to keep him on a leash all the time when he's outside because he wants to run and he wants to play just like he never had surgery. So whenever he's outside, other than if he's laying on his dog bed and we're watching him or he's on his tie out around the small tree, he likes to lay in the shade out there. We are constantly having him on a leash. He's doing really well moving around. He is still struggling to go to the bathroom a little bit, you know, number two. And I think it's the medication that he's on, but he's doing well. And the sleeve for his leg that I picked up off of Amazon has literally been a complete game changer. You'll see that we have it tied with some string around his collar. He doesn't have a butt. He has no booty at all. So it just likes to slide down. So with the string attached to the to the sleeve and to his collar. It actually helps keep the little leg piece up. And the reason for this is to prevent licking. It also prevents the wound from getting 
dirt in it or debris, but mainly it's to prevent him from licking and we know that he would lick it if there wasn't something covering it. So it's worked really, really well. It's also prevented us from having to put a cone on him or one of those blow up cone devices and he doesn't even mind that it's on him at all. So he's doing really well. He still requires, you know, 24 hour round the clock care. So it's still a lot of work because again, we do have to watch him all the time. He slips and slides on the floor a lot. So we have to be really careful getting him up and moving him from place to place but he's doing well. He's truly doing well. We're so grateful. He's recovering faster and quicker than we thought that he would. So again, thank you guys so much for reaching out and asking how he's doing. I will continue to give you guys updates, of course, throughout his recovery. And seriously, it means so much to our family that you're so concerned about Diesel and that he's really taken a big place in your heart, just like he has in ours. Here's my lunch. Like I said, I wanted a big, big salad. So let me show you exactly what I put in my salad and we'll go over the points. So I started with a bunch of baby spinach from Imperfect Foods, such a good price. I did seven grams or one serving for 35 calories of these mini croutons. These are just the perfect added crunch. Two ounces of deli ham one ounce of feta crumbles and my lovely husband ripped the label off but this is the light ranch from hidden valley i did 30 milliliters or two tablespoons and that went ahead and made up my salad so it is one point for the croutons two points for the dressing makes three three points for the cheese makes six two points for the ham makes eight everything else is zero and then i'm just going to pair that with some bean cherries. So my lunch, my big delicious salad is eight points. Pumpkin poo. <gasps> Pumpkin, do you want your treats? Here you go. Oh, good boy, buddy. Lola, you sit. Sit for mama. Yeah. Baba, hi, buddy. The treats. Oh, good job. My Wicked Bayou candle subscription came. I shared this with you guys in a previous What I Eat in a Day and you really liked seeing what I got in this subscription box. And in fact, a lot of you have ordered this subscription box for yourself, which is amazing because this is a small business, so it's always nice to support them. But when you get your subscription box every month and you do get this box once per month, this is what it looks like when you open it up. I've always received the Wicked Bayou candles card. And on the back, it does tell you what you received in your box. I do not want to peek though. And then we have a little card that says shipping update. As of August 1st, 2021, shipping prices will change to the actual price to ship to your area. As a small business, I cannot afford to cover part of the shipping cost anymore. I'm sorry for any inconvenience. If you're wanting to cancel your box, please do so before August 1st. And then it gives you the contact information. I'm not going to cancel. So then when you open it up, you have tissue and all your good stuff is in there. I'm so excited. One of my very favorite things to receive in this box is the car air freshener. This is the ocean breeze. It's shaped like a turtle. It's so cute. Okay. Shaped like a turtle and it says notes of white nectarine and o ozonic accord with mid notes of white thyme and lavender. Oh my gosh, it smells so delicious. It actually smells like the ocean, which is amazing. So I re-received the car air freshener. This is cute. Okay, so then we received this, and this is a car charm. How cute is this? So it looks like a necklace with these little tassels, and you just hang this on your rear view mirror. It would actually be really cute hung with the air freshener. This is really, really adorable. Honestly, you could even wear this as a necklace if you wanted. So we received a car charm. We've I've never received one of those in a box, so that's exciting. 
And then it looks like we have some wax melts and these are in blackberry lemonade. Notes of blackberry plum and strawberries and mid notes of tart lemon and red currant. Oh my gosh. That smells so delicious. I actually really like their wax melts. They have really good throw and they last a long time. And then lastly in our box is a candle. We receive a candle, an eight ounce candle in a tin every month. This is in the scent Bum Bum. Notes of salted caramel and pistachio mixed with creamy maple, soft, fruity, and citrus notes in sandalwood. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh. You know what this reminds me of? If you're at the beach or the ocean and you go into any of the gift shops, they all have that ocean smell to them. This is exactly what this smells like. It's delicious. So that was my July Wicked By You candle subscription. Again, we received the eight ounce candle in Bum Bum, the wax melts in Blackberry Lemonade, the adorable car charm, and my favorite thing, love getting these once a month, is the car air freshener. So if you're interested in Wicked Buy You candles, it is linked down in the description box. It is not an affiliate link, just directly to their website so that you can sign up, support a small business, get some amazing candles every month. I'm so excited. For my afternoon snack, I'm going to have some pita and hummus. So on my food scale here, I have a bowl. I am going to have some of the Imperfect Foods roasted red pepper hummus. You can have two tablespoons for 70 calories or for two points. And that is a total of 28 grams. So I'm going to set my food scale to grams and then add 28. So there's my hummus. And then you can have five of the little Joseph's pita rounds. These are the little snack size pitas. You can have five of these for three smart points. And they're pretty good size, so that's what they look like. So I'm going to add five of those to my bowl of hummus. And that's going to be my snack. I may have something else. I am feeling a bit hungry, but I have a Zoom call with my Facebook group at three. So I just want to get a little something in my stomach. It's about 2.15 right now. So this is my five smart point snack. For dinner tonight, I'm making chicken Caesar pasta salad. So we're getting salad and pasta salad all rolled into one. So let me show you what's in our recipe. First is the pasta. I am, of course, I'm using my fiber gourmet pasta. You guys know this is my favorite pasta ever. This is the light penne. What I love about this pasta, besides the texture, the taste, everything that makes this pasta taste so good, is look at the nutritional information. It is 100 calories versus 210 of traditional pasta. It is 25 grams of fiber versus two grams of fiber, 17 grams of net carbs versus 41, and it also has seven grams of fiber. It is only two points, you guys, for two ounces dry on all plans, which is amazing because traditional pasta is five to six points. So we always have a huge stock up in our house. I'm down to about my last four bags, so I'm going to have to place an order, but I buy this off of Nutrition. I will link Nutrition down below for you. You'll also need a bag of romaine lettuce, Caesar dressing. I'm just using the Bolt House Farms Creamy Caesar. Parmesan cheese, about a pound, pound and a half of chicken, balsamic vinegar, fresh tomatoes, salt, pepper, and some olive or avocado oil. To a skillet here, I have one tablespoon of avocado oil. I'm going to add in my chicken. And then I'm going to season my chicken really well with some salt and some pepper. When I flip it, I will go ahead and season the other side as well. But we're going to allow the chicken to cook completely through. We're also going to get the pasta started. So I have my pasta water here coming to a boil. We're just going to cook the pasta per the package instructions. So I went ahead and shredded up the chicken in the pan as it was cooking. I just want it to get a little bit crispy. And then I do have my pasta boiling over here as well. So in a very, very large bowl, we are going to add chopped up tomatoes. I went ahead and chopped up about three Roma tomatoes. Add in the cooked shredded chicken. So we have our tomatoes and our chicken. Two tablespoons of balsamic vinegar. 
We're going to add in our drained and rinsed pasta. I did rinse my pasta with cold water to cool it down a little bit so that the lettuce doesn't wilt as bad. You can put this pasta salad in the fridge for a couple hours to cool it down a little bit, but I'm hoping that that cold pasta will cool down the chicken. I also added two thirds of a cup of Parmesan cheese, three quarters of a cup of Caesar dressing, and then the last step we're doing is adding in that bag of cut romaine lettuce and then dinner is ready so it's a very summery vibe recipe nice and cool on those hot days so we're going to go ahead and add in the romaine lettuce and stir and here is the chicken caesar pasta salad this looks so good so refreshing let me go ahead and serve it up and i'll be back to share points and calories so here is tonight's dinner. This big, huge bowl makes eight servings. So there is quite a bit. It is quite a large serving and it is four points on the blue and purple plan and six on the green plan. And that is using the fiber gourmet pasta. Uh, this recipe will be on my recipe website. So my dinner is a total of four points. Take a wild guess where we are again. We are at McDonald's uploading my meal prep for tomorrow. And I thought that I would just hop on really quick, close out today's video. On the next screen, I will be showing you my points versus calories. Today I had a little bit lower calories than normal. I just wasn't very hungry today. I have been so busy, like I mentioned, that there are days, a lot of days, that I eat under where I like to eat. Not substantially, but a little bit. And today just happened to be one of those days. But I had a great day of food. I feel like I ate really well today. When I get home, I am going to have the salted caramel yasso bar. It is 100 calories, 5 grams of protein, but 5 points on WW. That's another one of those points versus calories that I just struggle with. But that's what I'm going to have for dessert. And the yasso bar will round out my meals for today.